you have just been issued a Surface Pro. It is a fully functioning laptop computer with a Bluetooth pen, magnetic keyboard, charger, and protective cover. Always keep the Surface in the protective case. Something worth knowing is that apps and programs take a little bit of time to load on the Surface. It's not as quick as perhaps your phone. Important information, if you have any problems with your Surface, the pen, the keyboard, charging, the case, go to the help desk or submit a help desk ticket. It is very important that you take care of your Surface. You need to make sure your pen and charger are labeled with your name. You need to charge your Surface at night. You need to run updates every month. And please note that the surfaces are fragile. The glass breaks easily. Please be careful as you transport it to and from home and between classes. You are probably very familiar with the traditional mouse with the left click button, the right click button, and the scroll wheel. On the surface, we have two different ways to do left and right click and then also scroll. So first, for the pen, the pen tip acts as the left click button. So a single clip opens files, a double click opens apps and programs. Your pen either has a long bar like this or perhaps a shorter one. When you press it, it acts as the right click button. The right click button opens menus. On the keyboard, you have a trackpad. On the trackpad, you have an area for the left click. It's rather large. And the smaller area is the right click. If you would like to scroll, place two fingers on the trackpad and pull down or push up. Another thing you need to be aware of with the Surface is that you will need to power it off, restart it, and put it to sleep at various times of the day. Obviously, you'll power it off at the very end of the day. You'll want to restart your Surface on campus, and that's not just starting it, that's an actual restart. And then you'll also want to put it to sleep. The first thing you'll do is click on the Windows button. After you click on the Windows button, this box will open, and you'll see a power button here. Click on that, and you have the option of sleep, shut down, and restart. You need to put your Surface to sleep between every class. If you don't, the Surface remembers the last Wi-Fi and has a hard time in your new classroom. It can't connect to the wireless. So put your Surface to sleep, leave the class, go to your next class, and when you open up your keyboard and maybe even press Enter, it wakes up and it looks for the new Wi-Fi access. Like I said a moment ago, you'll want to shut your computer down after you've completed your homework for the night. And then at least once a day, you'll want to do a restart. If you notice your surface is acting sluggish or slow, things just aren't working right, you'll want to do a restart then as well. Opening programs not found on the desktop can be a little tricky in Windows 11. So what you'll do is press the Windows button. You can check out the pinned that show, and this is the pin to start. If you want, you can search all the apps by clicking all apps right here. Or if you start typing in what you're interested in, like Word for Microsoft Word, it will pull it up. So that you don't have to search for programs all the time, especially ones you use a lot, like OneNote, Teams, and Outlook, you can pin them to the taskbar. That's that little bar in the bottom middle. The easiest way to do this is when a program is open, you'll right click on the icon. You can do that either with the pen or the trackpad, and then you'll select pen to taskbar, as shown right here. Pin your frequently used programs like OneNote, Teams, and Outlook to your taskbar. Every time we open a program today, pin it to the taskbar, and if it turns out you don't need it there, you can always unpin it later. Now we're gonna sign into the device. Press the power on button. For some of you, the power on button is in the top left on top of the device. For others of you, it's on the right side of the device. This is only the power on button. Do not use it for power off, sleep, or restarts, as it does not give your Surface enough opportunity to go through its processes and could damage your work. So you'll have this opening screen. You'll swipe up or hit enter to sign in. You should see your name where it says testing docs here, and then you're gonna put your password in. It involves your student ID number, and your advisor will tell you this in a moment, what your password is. 
At some point, you'll be asked to change it, and it's very important that you do so for security reasons.